on the side of the road because on our Google map it says this is where the campgrounds are. Well, when I looked on the map and I looked at uh, freecampsites.net, I saw vehicles parked in actual campsites. Now, I'm not really sure. They have um, added some dirt here. So it might just be... Well, it doesn't look like this was ever a road here. So I'm not really sure. We could go up a little further and see if maybe the map uh, coordinates are just off a little bit. But this is definitely a campsite. Look at this. Is this not cool or what? Oh, I gotta get in there too, babe. Not, not real, real cold. Oh no, feels like a river. Yeah. We could pan for some gold. What do you yeah. think? I think we have the stuff. Yeah. Or we could build a flute area there. Yeah, you could pull out your uh, metal detector as well. Oh, Aja, it's so beautiful. Good. Like, I would actually wash my hair in this. <laughs> I, don't yeah, nice. I don't have the right kind of shampoo for that, but it's I great. would if I had to. But not too cold. Yeah, bio? Yeah, I'd wash my hair in it. Yeah, I don't care if the rigs are out there. We could be in here in the shade or whatever. Yeah, this is really awesome. Yeah, we got it all to ourselves. All right. Very pretty. Very sparkly. Yeah, look at this one. I don't know if my camera's going to pick it up or not because it's... I can't see. Oh. Well, my battery's at 5%. <laughs> Pretty. Wow, that's a pretty rock. All the different colors in it. <laughs> what did you do? Oh, Lordy B. <laughs> Scott just said, if a turkey flew down, because we saw turkeys, wild turkeys on the way up. And what did you say? If he landed on that table right there, yeah. and then a bolt of lightning came down and hit him, we'd have turkey for dinner. <laughs> wild turkey that dinner. That would be the easiest turkey dinner I ever made. I know. All right, we're going to go get set up. Maybe. We're going to go up the road, actually, and see what we can find. We just came to another bridge. And they've got an old uh, water wheel there. We're out scouting for a couple more campsites. That's pretty. I got out of the truck to walk up here. This side of the river is uh, privately owned. There's a house right over here. So what you can see is they brought the the level of the water here. It would flow through that tube and all the way down to the uh, water wheel down there. So obviously this area is either a little higher or um, equal to the water wheel. I think we've gotten into an area where it's just uh, homes. Look how pretty that fence is. Yeah, look at this. It's really pretty. It's a great idea. <laughs> that sign said my happy place. Yeah, this would be my happy place too. <laughs> Me too. You're up here, geez. Oh, we're on another bridge. I think we missed the concert a decade ago. <laughs> Next time. So I talk about living the dream. This would be one of my dreams to live way out here on a river or creek. I don't know if they call it a river or creek, but just tucked in among the trees. It's 
really pretty. And you can make your own paddle wheel thing to make power. Yeah. And solar. Alright, so we're heading back down. I guess that's the only camp area that we could find. So we're gonna we're gonna head back, find Aja, and we'll probably just camp out there for the night. black sand, so who knows? Oh, you're just having fun. I am. Oh, I see a couple of crystally things in there, but I think it's those rocks that we keep seeing. Sparkly rocks. Just a perfect, uh, I'm loving it. Clear Creek, so much fun. I'm loving it. I don't know why I go to Arizona where it's dry and no water. Well, yeah, because we I'm got like lots of friends that go there. I know. For events. This is absolutely beautiful here. Yeah. Well, the river's not that deep. It only goes up to about my knee. It's not too bad. And it's um calm enough that it doesn't uh, make you want to fall over or anything. I'm used to walking in rivers. I'm more used to walking in a river than I am a downtown uh, street. Isn't that pretty? Alright, so the river bends around and comes in through there. Boy, that'd be some good place for Scott to get some dirt right in there. Up under here is where you gotta get dirt. That's a good place. Look how the rocks are just embedded in the roots. I gotta go get out of this water. My toes are getting a little cold. It's not too bad, but I've been in it for whew, um, probably about 45 minutes walking around in it. I think we got really lucky today. We've seen, oh, two or three People come along, they go up the road with trailers and a bus and I think a van went up and they kind of slow down. We didn't see any other camping when we went up there so I'm not sure. It's not that we wouldn't share, there's probably room for maybe one more rig up there. They could certainly, somebody could fit in up there. Lots of river to play in. Now she's up here hard at work, as usual. She's always working. Mimu, are you enjoying yourself? Yeah. I saw it come out of the tree. Oh, that is a really pretty one. Look how, wow. how blue his tail is. No, I've never seen one with a blue tail. And it's got yellow stripes. Yeah, lizards don't bother me. Isn't that weird? Don't even, Aja. <laughs> 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 Snake! <laughs> You're always trying to get me. Yeah. I'll show you guys one more time. It's really pretty. Cool. 
They all thought I was nuts. I said, there's something coming out of the tree over there. That was a lizard. Ooh. Okay, it's so walked up from the river. Now I'm cleaning my little sleuth box, sluice box, and then I will pan it with my uh, pan over there. I'm hopeful. If anything, I had fun. That's all that matters. That's right. And we're not expert panners. <laughs> we're no. just, we just have fun. Mm -mm. I just need a big old nugget of like that size. That's it. Yeah. And then we'll, I'll be, we'll share, I'll be with, okay. yep. share with a whole lot of people. Yep. That's what was left when he shook the rug out. And I used to have a little tool that took all the iron, right? Correct, yeah. Iron out. Um, but I let some kids uh, at a campground play with it, and now I don't know where they're at. All my little tools. All my fun little tools. <laughs> mm -hmm. The little kids may have wandered off with them. I'm not sure. They were campers that we didn't know, so. Look at that big mushroom. I want to say it's, I could be wrong, I think it's a morel. I don't know mushrooms that well. I love to take pictures of them, but I don't know what they're all called. That one looks kind of, uh, kind of spent. So pretty. They're flying up and down the river. I was down here uh, collecting some garbage. When we got here, I noticed that they're there's quite a lot of stuff on the ground, so I came down here to pick it up. <laughs> I just started noticing that um, on a few trees down here, somebody's tagged them. I, don't, I never understand the purpose behind that. You come down to a place that is really gorgeous, fresh water the sound of it and then for some reason you feel like you need to spray paint a tree it's beyond my thinking well there's there's Scuddy's pan he got some dirt I don't think there's anything in there we kind of played around it was just we were just having fun anyways that's all the garbage I picked up so it looks a little bit better I, uh, I couldn't get it all, and the reason I say I can't get it all is I'll show you. So as I was picking up garbage that was laying around, it was very obvious, I stepped over here, and there's all that. So I don't know, I, uh, it disappoints me. I come out and then I do my fair share of cleaning up. and. Uh, and then you go over the hill and that's what you see. I'm gonna ask everybody, I've done this before, I just challenge everybody to go out and spend five minutes, just five minutes, and pick up as much as you can. That's it. Every little bit helps. Every little bit makes our world a little bit better. Mm -hmm.